first. <laughs> there we go. We are now officially live with Fully Charged, everybody. Episode 24 brought to you right in the middle of that season when young boy and young girl trees look at each other lustfully and start emitting pollen all over the place and fucking ruining my life. It's really awful. I hate allergies. So, uh, yeah, anyway, Fully Charged. We're talking about Highlander today. And uh, Seabear, why don't you introduce our two wonderful guests? Well, at least you have, like, green things happening. I want to point out, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that today... It was uh, negative one wind chill. I'm in fact on my on my spring break, and uh, it's colder now than it was during my winter break, and it sucks. So Sal, I'm sorry that you're sick, but it is uh, it's damn cold today. Like, like it feels like it's that that early February cold where you just hate your life. It's just like oh god, but that's that's fine. So we're both miserable people, but we do have two awesome guests. Uh, Huey Lewis, whose first is in fact Drew Carey. So he's going to supply Apparently. the humor. Well, he's, no, he's going to supply the points. Everybody else <laughs> That's right. The humor. Sal and I are going to do improv <laughs> later with Stabby. We're going to go on Stabby's <laughs> boat and do some improv. It's going to be great. And then Huey's going right. to flip the switch or whatever. I don't remember the show. But Huey's here. He's a pyro. <laughs> Pulls the levers. He's good at pyro. What's up, Huey? How much? How are you guys doing? Good. Oh, I said I was going to stop doing the hand thing. So no, no, no. You have to keep <laughs> like, doing the hand thing. Just I, hold I your hands on either on side of your like, face the entire time. I was asked, like, like eight times, I'd say. Like, what's the deal with the crazy hands all the time? Because I'm always doing something with my hands. And I, I, I was like, I don't think I do that in real life. Like, I don't think that's right. And then I just like look down while I'm teaching, and I'm like, uh, and, like put it away. Like, uh, 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 what do I do? Now? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't stop it. So, uh, all right. We have that other guy though. Some of you may have heard of our second guest. He is, uh, I guess, some kind of, you know, skilled spy or something. I don't know. But I, uh, he is. Savvy. I just want to point out real quick here, the Matt Man in the comments. Welcome to Fully Charged, the show where everything is made up and the points don't matter. That's right, the points are like DJC at mid-fights. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chat? That was somebody in stream chat, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt our, our introduction of Stabby, because, of course, Stabby's an awesome spy. That man just won himself a hat, ladies and gentlemen. He did, he did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's up, Stabby? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Well, there's a lot better down here, up here, over here. Over where, where, where is over here? A Bay Area. Oh. Um, right now. Yep. Mount View. Yep. Oh, Google. Yeah. I know a guy who just moved actually two weeks ago from LA to Houston, and he's like, "I hate my life now." <laughs> yeah. What, what was he? What was, <laughs> why, man? That's a. It's not much of a move. Oh uh, well, he used to work for SpaceX, and he was like, you know, it was fun, but there was no job security at all. So he came to Houston to work for the oil industry, where there's job security, but no fun. <laughs> <laughs> and allergies. Yes. Yes. He has those too. He didn't have them in L.A., but he has them now. All right, um, we're here to talk about Highlander and Highlander only, and it's going to be a very serious show, but nothing but Highlander and whatever else we can possibly think of to throw at you guys. So uh, I guess we should start by saying, how did last season go? Uh, the Syndicate, of course, two seasons ago was like the number one you know, dominant team. It doesn't seem to be the case this season. No, no, we've got like um, four kind of top plat teams this season that are all kind of battling it out. We've got Ginyu Force, which is kind of considered, I think, the, the number one seed right now. Is that right? Um, yeah, got, number one. Or BPM is. They beat Ginyu. Uh, we still managed to get the seed somehow. I don't know. I don't how, really pay attention to seeds. We had like yeah. a half match point more, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. No, that is really close. Ginyu? Ginyu? Ginyu. 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 Is at 35.5 match points. Baby Punching Marathon is at 35 match points so yeah it literally is it's a half a match point more. i'm just looking well, at how do they how do they do that that sounds odd i've never seen it's, the ugc ranking that sounds it's I'm just gonna... based on how many points you actually score throughout the season so if you get oh. like i think what every okay. like cap on a or every round win on a five cp is one match point like i right. think it's like 0.25 or something like that for every cap on a um Payload? Capture the flag. Oh, capture the flag, okay. And yeah, there's okay. different values for everything, but the more caps you have, the more round wins you have, basically translates into more match points. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. So, so BBM beat you guys, but they're second seed because of the match point differential. Yeah, it close. was pretty much uh, the capture the flag week, the haunt week, where we got oh. the full 10 caps and they only got five, I think. So Okay. that, that hmm. pretty much gave us the extra tiny bit. And then, okay, so beneath those two, it's Ginyu and BPM at the very top. Very close behind, though, uh, Menace to Society. And that team, is that still like Platinum and the, the invite players? Was it's it ever? It's a Am I different wrong? roster than it was last season for sure. Um, 
I'll have to actually look on the site to get it's it. It's similar. I, I, I mean, I think the only invite they still have is Harblu <clears throat> on Medic. They okay. still have, like, Zalox on demo. He was there last season. Zalox is really good. Um, Marissa's mm. still sniping. Jero's still the spy. Hey, hey. But mm. I think the rest are pretty much different. They still have some high-level talent, though. Those yeah. are some solid, you know. Yeah, so, um, how are the... How are the maps going to be in playoffs? As we had like when we had the UGC guys on, uh, the admins on, we talked a lot about maps and how they were picked. And I guess people didn't like some of the ones that were played this year. I don't know. Does my hands fly around? So is it? Um, is there a schedule set up, or do you guys get to pick, or what? Uh, for playoffs, yeah, it's all set up. Um, oh, it is. Look on the UGC side here. I'm just going. Yeah, it's, so. it's better than the season. It's more standard than what was played during the regular season, at least. Especially nice. playoffs. Like, the playoff maps are pretty solid, actually. It's mostly yeah, yeah. It's regular yeah, season. Yeah, Haunt and croissant and waste croissant. that everyone was pissed off about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're steel. Definitely, Some people like steel. I don't know. We're looking forward a lot more to the playoff maps than the regular season maps. That's good. Yeah. What is uh, it next week? Is it start next week? It starts. Right, because it ended. Yeah. yeah uh, upward. Uh, upward, yeah. Okay. The map of many wranglings. <laughs> yeah. Caber so, kill. So, so hold up. I want to go back to what Stabby was saying earlier, that there are four top teams. <laughs> yeah, four. Four. Um, I, I, would put, I would put us at four right now. Well, okay. I don't Ranking know what the seed wise, is. I, I don't pay attention to seeds. You're five. Fifth Son seed. of a bitch. I thought we I were. Know. Was it GG? <laughs> it was. It was GG. And it was, I didn't check. And here's the thing. The difference between <sighs> GG and the Syndicate in the, in the match points, 0.25. Yeah. 28 versus 28.25. <laughs> That's funny. Well, they beat us in our match, better. so they, they deserve it. Okay. But, uh, man, we came this close to beating MTS in our yeah. match. It was, it was like a four-second loss or something. So, I you know, we're still... You guys had, like, forfeit wins, too, didn't you? And I think... Yeah, we had two Platinum, forfeit wins. Yeah. yeah, Platinum's doing something different than the rest of the league with forfeit wins. Where they're actually giving out the full match points for that mm. for those games, so... Like that's another thing with, with Ginyu, I know, is on Croissant, we only got three rounds out of quality control. We stalemated. How so is we didn't quality get the full control? Match Are point. they good? Because they're, they're Yeah, I mean, they started really strong, and then once they hit the top teams, they kind of petered off a little bit. Okay. They're still, like, I mean, you still can't underrate them, what? I think. So, yeah, who is on that? Because I, I heard they were kind of like the underdog story. Did they, did they move up from Silver or something? Who are they? <laughs> oh, this is, like, this is the Green Frog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I knew him from pubs. I didn't know that he was an Highlander. Dude, that guy, oh. that's one of the best names. His name on UGC is Sexy Green Frog. Oh, that guy is mm -hmm. awesome. I remember because I was watching... Oh, uh, but he sounds like this. Hello, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to snipe you now. That's, uh, that's fiction, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to blow your fucking head off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Good, Sal. And, um, yeah, because DJC and putting her casting, and every time it's like, oh, what a shot by Green Frog. I'm like, that's an awesome name. I wish I was casting this right now. <laughs> so I could just scream Green Frog. Um, the TMP is on there. That's your pyro nemesis, right, Huey? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> um, and then some, some they have very. Steve C on Scout. Like, yeah, Steve C's okay. great. Okay. Yeah. He's pretty crazy on Scout. He kind of plays like a suicidal like pick super, Scout super almost. Super, he likes yeah. the Criticola and stuff. I don't know. Crazy unlocks. Yeah. So they, they have good players. Not to yeah, be underrated. Sure. Okay, so what what happened to the syndicate, man? Because you guys were what? You went undefeated last year, right? You got an Is entirely it? new roster. <laughs> it was a, I, 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 mean, I, I they don't, come back. don't know anything. They don't come back. Um, Jake and I were the only ones back from last season. Um, Jake left because he wasn't having fun with TF2 anymore. He still loves us and he'll still play for us, but he doesn't want to play TF2 anymore. So um, you guys going to make a transition. Tonight like... was like kind of the eighth, like the tenth syndicate member, but he was our like ultra mega backup. You know, he played in a couple matches for us, so he's back. Other than that, man, it's a new team. So we've been we've been having roster problems the whole season long. We haven't played the same roster like any uh, any one week yet. So it's been kind of a rocky season for us. So who are your starters? I'm looking at your roster. Like, holy crap! You have. This could be like the invite roster, man. <laughs> he's got Banny on his roster. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Slynn, Hero. <laughs> so, like, yeah. who are your starting nine? We know you're the spy. Help I'm actually going to have to, like, think. Because <laughs> it's <laughs> you know, like, every well, week. Who's on? Let's see, this week. Uh, no, it's like, um, we got um, Valen on scout right now, which has been a very tumultuous position. He just, he just rejoined. I thought he was a um, soldier. He was last season, but he's got this season. He's like, I don't want to do that shit. It's boring. No, he, he thought Snake Kryptonite was a great soldier, so... 
when I first played him. I, he he played a great soldier though. Yeah. I mean, his, his his rocket jumping. And Black boxing. Balen Balen says he's a better soldier than he is, so you can take his word for it. Yeah. Okay. I, um. Uh. So yeah, our soldier now is Snake Kryptonite. Pyro is Fathom. Our demo is Chris Ta Fa. Um, uh, yep. Also a new a new pickup. Chris Ta Fa uh, an invite demo. Uh, yeah. Just recently this season. His first right. season of invite. It's good. And Arthur so, bonus last season. Uh, yeah. I could go through them all. They're, they're nine all <laughs> I'll let you off the hook if you don't want to. <laughs> so wait, is Fanny not going to play? Um, not unless you know we need a backup. He's, he's I remember we played, backup. Yeah. He was a gorgeous gamer last year, and we played. He was medic for the first half, and we lost badly in like some weird map push map <laughs> or no cart map the pushing the cart map. Um, and uh, we were like, well, we just have Banny go demo, and then we instantly won, and it was easy and fun. So, <laughs> yeah. If you guys are having an issue, just uh, put the Banny sign up into the sky, like the bat signal, except it's like a, <laughs> a white guy with long hair. Just right up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I, I'm, I, I would have thought that he'd want to do it to get the award thing, like the little medal that you get. You'll, she'll still get it if we, if we do it ourselves. But he's not going to do it for us. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Everybody on this. You up, always yeah. get a participant. It's whether you get yeah. first, second, or third place. But yeah, I even if you're a backup, you get. Or, or if you're on the roster, right? Yeah, yeah I think I, it's just anyone yeah. roster gets gets a prize. Yeah. Excuse me, guys. Really, really bad allergies today, so I'm rubbing my just, eyes and sniffling and all that. It sucks. Um, that's did, you just, did you just wipe your nose on your shirt? No. I wipe my nose, I, and I put my hand up. And you're on your beautiful referee shirt. This, black look at this white. shirt, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. It's, your shirt awesome. is like one of those magic eye pictures, I feel like. <laughs> it's like it's weird. It's a little bit more like crisp in the right like it. Skype yeah. call. Yeah, I use so it to cool. throw people off at work, you know? The, the, I like would, when I want to give a presentation, they, they can't focus on the numbers. Like, yeah, they're like, like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you like dodge back and forth and hypnotize people? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You wait, I get a point for that? No, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, negative five points for Seabear. So <laughs> how, how many teams make the playoffs? Is it eight? No. It's uh, all of them, actually. I mean, all, UGC has set up like 16 really bracket really playoffs like, for so. every division. And we actually only have 12 teams in Platinum okay. at the end of the season, so everyone's that, getting in. Yeah, because I remember, because we were awful last year, and we made playoffs. So I was like, we're, we're terrible. How can we make playoffs? <laughs> I don't get it. Um, okay. So there were two you, teams that didn't, which just seems kind of mean, right? Like, everybody goes, and then, like, the bottom two, you're like, eh, you guys. So there, there are 12 teams that made the playoffs, so... Yeah, there were... I think last season there were... Yeah, there were, there were 16 teams to start the season, and four of them have died. So oh, there are okay. 12 left. So the top four seeds are getting buys the first week of the playoffs. So those four don't have to play upward. Yeah, and there's... then yeah, they'll start after that. <laughs> there's a team that is probably one of the ones you're talking about called uh, like, uh, I, uh, the Furniture or Furniture. And their tag is Ikea. And I clicked ah. on their roster name and they have someone on their team named Coffee Table. Yeah, they're all furniture names. It was a lot of the royalty guys, I think. That's awesome. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> for Ikea. Okay, yeah, they I'm... played a match. <laughs> So imagine, ca imagine casting that, Sal. Maybe you did. I'm like on your. I I never have. I kind of wish. Play I by chair. <laughs> <laughs> I think Highlander names are the best thing. Like I don't know anything about Highlander at all. I'm completely awful. I think at it would be it. better to call call what their opponents were doing to them. Oh, he's just thrashing that chair around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Breaking that make... table's legs. So uh, where where is my guy Star? I'm looking for Star. Did he is he not? Was he not on? No, he's not. Right. Was he supposed to be here? No, no, no he means in the call. Let's call him up. No, I. Uh, yeah, I, I thought he made his triumphant return to play. Uh, he was on Gangsta Gang. He's on GG still this season. Yeah, I think he's like he was like oh, moving okay. or something. So he hasn't RNG. played for them. Yeah, yeah he's not on the their last roster. Couple weeks. Right? Oh no, yeah, he is. He is. He, he's on there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's played the last couple games, but it, yeah, he was a starter to start with. Like he had to like move or something, so he might be back for playoffs. I don't know. Okay, okay. So speaking of playoffs, then who's gonna win? It's really I mean, up in the air. Savvy's raising his hand. <laughs> he wants it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like you I said, mean, the I, top I, four. Like it depends on the map, is my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'd, I'd agree. So what what do the brackets look like? Do we have brackets yet? Um, there is a bracket somewhere. It's. it's I've heard that. I've heard that word a few too many times in the last like week. 
Sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with that because <laughs> we are it, talking nah. brackets. Did <laughs> you bracket? Are you make a bracket? Let's do a bracket. Hey, uh, hey! If our president can make a bracket, you can make a bracket. Okay. I made a bracket. Okay, I have a bracket. I think I'm gonna, like my head is gonna actually. Um, so, what, you guys played like the 12th place team then? All right. A few weeks? You guys are first. Uh, no, we have a bye. It's still a 16 team bracket, so right. the top four all have byes the first week. Double elimination this time, right? Yeah. yeah. Something yeah. Like this really? weird. So, so. Of, of the, the first four matches that we're going to see, these are not going to be, bear in mind, these are not going to be the top four teams. I get a buy. But we're going to see Kimberlite Council versus Blunderful. Who wins that? Uh, I think that's going to be really close. It is honestly. eight to ninth seed. So it, it I actually haven't like... scrimmed K-Lite, so I'm just going with Blunderful because I know them. Um, yeah, Blunderful, I would probably favor them a little bit more. I think they've been trading scrims all season, though, like back yeah. and forth. So. Well, Kim Kimberlite does have Mustard Overlord Ooh. on their team. <laughs> And they have Mangachu, too. Right? They have Mangachu. I thought, I, I thought Mangachu was on Stabby's team. Oh. No? Yeah, he was. You cut him? He did. <laughs> um, Mangachu, Mangachu, Mangachu was an amazing, amazing demo, and it wasn't it wasn't because he was lacking in skill or anything like that. It was it was, it was a chemistry thing. Okay. A chemistry thing. I, I, I could see that. Having known the guy from Pugs, um, I don't necessarily think he's like a an asshole, as as Seabear was saying. I do think that he doesn't get along with everyone. I don't. I, I he don't does, that. You know, yeah, he doesn't. But he's a super he's a super nice guy. Um, I'm Mangachu. He's watching right now. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm trying to say nothing. I'm trying to be as nice. I, I mean, the poor guy has been cut from the syndicate three times, and he, he comes back every time. <laughs> and like, all right, this time. <laughs> Savvy. And I, I'm always like, oh boy, man, you, I've got some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am laughing now, but it's like the most painful experience you can go through cutting okay. someone All third right. time. Well, yeah. let's let's move on from the pain. Um, the Syndicate versus playing naked is is I, one of our opening matches. Who wins? DJC that? on that team? <laughs> you would think, but no. <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah, I, I think Syndicate's got that one. It says pretty, 5 versus 12 pretty, on the season. Yeah, pretty so. easily. Like, oh, playing Naked's right, technically right. the lowest ranked team. Yeah. So I think Syndicate will have a... Who's on playing Naked then? Um, I'm not... Someone named Optimus Prime. Okay. So yeah, I think there are like some open players, some like kind of high open players who made a team this season. Okay. I'm not sure if they scrim or anything. I've never seen a scrim request from them, but... I've never scrimmed them, yeah. Yeah. All right, what about uh, Ghetto Afterthought versus Death Marked Soldiers? Uh, I think uh, Ghetto Afterthought should probably have that one. Okay, so we're pretty much going by the uh, the seating right now. And then Quality Control versus Chain Reaction. That one I think That's will actually be closer. Yeah. yeah. Chain Reaction's gotten a lot better in the last uh, couple weeks. Ah, okay. All right. Well, let's, let's just assume real quick then. The Syndicate now has beaten... Playing naked, that's easy. Then it's the Syndicate versus Gangsta Gang. And I'm sure you guys have played each other before the season. Right? Yes? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've scrimmed. We're going to scrim this week, and we've played each other in a match with a different roster. Okay, so what are your thoughts on that match? That's going to be on Viaduct. Oh, oh all right. We is it really? Oh, That's really? Awesome. You like yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah, I like Viaduct. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. They'll be great. I mean, they're, they're a solid team. They've really, they've really been impressing everybody, you know. Um, but Viaduct I, I, is my favorite map, and I think the team's pretty comfortable in cost. So I'm glad that they team. Gangsta Gang or whatever, that's like the original Highlander team or whatever, right? Or something? Or were they like the first champions or something? So. They're, they did something. Play, I don't know. They've been around for a while. I'm They've flexing my, my TF2 knowledge here, fellas. <laughs> I think they were yeah, champions they were season with five. Teams. And then, yeah, season six, they made it to the finals. Okay. Okay. So then, then, then you've got the Syndicate versus Gangsta Gang. Whoever wins that we'll go against the winner of Ginyu Force versus, you know, Blunderfold or Kimberlite, and we're going to assume Ginyu wins that one. So then it's going to be basically one of these top five going against each other. Ginyu versus either Gangsta or the Syndicate to secure the next spot, and then they have to play another, like, two games before they get to the Grand Finals. So uh, this is going to be a nice, long playoff season. Yeah, so are they doing more than one match a week? Because if it's double elimination, that's going to go on for... Um, yeah, if, like, if if you lose your match on Monday night, uh, I think you play again Thursday night, like every week. So you'll play two I, matches a week until you lose another one, I oh, believe. That sucks. Oh, that's going... Yeah. <laughs> I know that's awful. Ouch. <laughs> we'll have to make sure like there's two two Highlander casts a week. 
Look out. Yeah, I'll probably be getting in on the Thursday casts. I was going to say, you should get in, man. I'll cast with you. Nice. Let's do it. And then a Pyro is going to run in. Huey, what do you think about that? <laughs> it's, it's well, garbage it's been decided is now. Been decided. He's going gonna <laughs> to left click. <laughs> we don't. We don't do that. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't go making fun of people that are better at this game than me. God. Um, okay. So, uh, who's gonna win? I guess we already asked that, but like. The whole. Uh, to Huey. Okay, Huey. Huey Lewis. Drewy Lewis. Um, who <laughs> other than you? If your team doesn't win, who's gonna win? Uh, probably BPM. Right. They've gotten so good this season. They've gotten just some amazing additions to their roster, and yeah, they play a style that no other team really does right now. Oh, they have Bloodsire. <laughs> the course yeah, he's their backup sniper. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so what, is... what, describe that style to me then. What, what does that mean? It's, it's almost, it's a really like high risk, high reward type is what it seems. They just go all out aggro. Their entire team throwing at you is what it seems like. It's You've got Cygnus like Playing the flanks and like trying to go for medic picks and stuff. You know, most players yeah, like, you see just like sitting back trying to defend. Okay, so Cygnus is one of those. Team, they've got some really aggressive players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cygnus is an aggro pyro, which is something we don't hear about that much because I mean he he's not in pug as much. Well, like it's just on the team. He's decided he's gonna. I don't so, know. so it works with that team then. And, and Huey, I know we've talked about this in the past on fully charged, where it's like kind of that. Uh, uh, you know, is the pyro going to be aggro, or is he going to defend the medic and make sure the team, you know, the core stays together? And so that's that's interesting that we actually have a team really contending for first place now with that aggro pyro again. He, he yeah. keeps a balance, though. I, I wouldn't say he's like overly aggressive or anything, but you'll see him make those plays. You know, which mm -hmm. that's fun. Yeah, that's fun. yeah, he'll dive in. He'll dive in where like others just won't. Like, and it it does pay off, like relatively is, well. Sometimes is is pyro like the bane of your existence, Stabby? Is it like, did you just get mad when you see a pyro? Like when you go in your pub, you're just like... <laughs> oh, in pubs? Ah. No, man. I don't worry about pyros at all. But like, you know? but like in Highlander. In Highlander. Um, like what makes you, what makes you I, more angry? Seeing a pyro or a wrangled sentry gun? Oh, I love Randall's thing. Because yeah, that, they're, they're like, like, that's free kill for you. They're, they're, they're not going to watch my back, you know, <laughs> look at the laser. But, uh, you know what? Like, pyros are only annoying me when all they do is sit on the medic and don't do anything but spy check. That, then it's just like, come on, man. Like, really? Like, you're, you're playing against me this game? Like, play against the team, man. I want to get some picks. <laughs> I, wonder, but, like, I wonder if people... I, 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 I respect the ones that are, like, trying to do a balanced role, you know, not just be a spy checker. So. You respect Huey Lewis? Yes. Oh. So oh. Like, no. Huey's so sickness okay. and pudding are my three. We, we, my... we just had a moment here on Fully Charged. Does uh, does Seabear get any <laughs> points for that one? Yeah, points. Sure, sure. Let's let's have some points. For, let's, you know what? A thousand points for everyone. Let's do it. Yes! Good. I was already at like, minus five. Yeah, now. you're at 995 now. <laughs> you're digging my way out of the hole. <laughs> um, okay. So oh, what else What else can we talk about? Oh, oh, same question for Stabby. So if you guys can't... If you guys don't win, who, who would you pick to win? Um, man, I don't know. I, I, you know, I've, I've scrimmed BPM, Ginyu, and MTS a lot. And I, I actually think they're pretty... I, I don't like making predictions I'm not very certain of. I'm not a gambling man. So... Uh, Okay. It's, it's, it's awesome. Know. It really I, I, is. Know. Like, no. yeah. like, I mean, that's that was the thought coming into this season, was that any of the top four could take it. And then I think BPM and Ginyu kind of rose a little bit above. The Syndicate's making, like, some roster changes, and they're, you know, better than they have been. MTS is going to go, like, they've, they only scrim a couple times a week during the season, and they're going to bump that up. They, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they go hardcore in the playoffs, so they're going to be much better than they were in the season. So, yeah, it's... Every, everyone's going to have a good shot. It's going to be really good playoffs. I think we're going to see a lot of really exciting matches. Yeah. yeah. Good. That's what we as casters like to hear. <laughs> so are you going to get down on some of this casting? Uh, you know, if I have the time for it. And I, I got to confess, I have not made a single cast video for like over a week because yeah. I haven't had any time for it. Yeah. I miss it too, man. I haven't casted since the, the cast. Really? The cast. It's like a month yeah. ago. Yeah, I know. We should do a video. Can we do a video? I'm on, I'm on break. Mm, I'm not and on I'll break. And I'll be snowed in, so let's do a video. Let's, class let's like put it down, Sal. Day. I'll stream it. We can cast a Highlander game. 
once playoffs start up, I'm I'm game, man. But like this week is really bad, really bad. This is this is sound like I don't know. Get away from me. No, I would love to cast with you. It's just that <laughs> today I've got fully charged and I'm leaving. Tomorrow when I get home, it's like full on homework. Friday <laughs> it's full on homework. All right, and go all to right. class. And then Saturday it's go to class and then go to the gala. And then Sunday maybe I'll have an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my life! <laughs> all right. Anyway, that's that's all gonna be over in May. I'll finally be able to just be like, hey, I can come home and not think about schoolwork. <laughs> then we can cast, or no? Then then you're hoping I forget by then. No, no. I I think I'll have time next week. That's what I'm saying. I just want to have time this week. I'm I'm like feeling stressed about that. So my yeah. bad. Okay. I still all have right, a sea bear, even though you only have 995 points, and it's it's kind of embarrassing. I'm still in the negative, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm thinking of some funny things to go here. A million points apiece for the bromance that we're just witnessing. Oh, <laughs> the stabby, awkward, awkward bromance. Stabby that's falling behind right now. now. Uh, man, I want a bromance. I had timed oh, someone no. out who said something <laughs> stabby, so okay. we had a moment there. Some guy some guy wasn't happy with your you look like who said something like you look like Quentin Tarantino or something. Motherfucker. Quentin Do you Tarantino. See that? That's not... I get that all the time. I, I, do you I, really? I don't. I'm trying to look because he's on the top of my corner of my thing. I just do it because they know it pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I mean, I have. I looked like Drew Carey. Apparently, there are worse people to look like. Stan. <laughs> True. He's a talented filmmaker. That Quentin Tarantino. That's right. Back when I was younger and didn't have a beard, people told me I looked like Tony Hawk. I was like, huh? All right. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. The <laughs> skateboarding legend. I know. He's yeah. old. He is. He's very old. So it was not exactly a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, okay. So I asked, I asked Stabby Stabby if he, hate, if he hated the Wrangler. Okay. So is the Wrangler going to be in Highlander forever? Is that just like, does, do people still get mad about it or is it just me? Am I the only one who cares? Like, do you guys care at all about it? I know Stabby I, you like it because it's free kills, but. I, I don't know. Uh, I think there are worse things. What's the worst? Yeah, thing? I think I think it's kind of cooled off. Honestly. I think people have given up. Ugh. Well, okay, so if you could change one thing about Highlander meta rules or otherwise, what would it be? Ooh. Wait, like Ooh. item. Like enemies. anything about the game that you could just change. Hmm. Home record. Fuck that shit. Home record. <laughs> Who runs the home record? Yeah. Do people in platinum run the. I know people don't even use it, but then when they do, I get so angry. You know, you get this awesome <laughs> sap. You know, you kill the engineer, and you're you're running off like this. You're telling yeah. the team like, yeah, that sentry's down, man, nope. no problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just a slap in the face. I probably shouldn't be listening to that at all because it doesn't matter in Highlander. But I hate that. Oh thing. oh oh oh! <laughs> question from uh, from Lame FX. Yeah, you um, just sent me that too. I, I'm I okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna Google what that is. The beggar's bazooka ban. Oh. How do you feel about that one? Yeah, I'm oh, I'm happy it's banned. Really? Like, I don't. Is that the one that shoots three at once? Yeah. Yeah. It's. That thing is fucking terrible. It's I don't awful. Know. I don't. It. It. I've seen it. It used... completely changes the role of like three or four people on the other team, and I don't like oh. that. It's it's, it's counterable, but not in any fun or in, interesting ways. Is my issue with it? Yeah, well, and it's it's a one trick pony too. You know, it's yeah. Like that and you go bomb the medic. You yeah. know, it's like. Yeah. I, 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 uh, <laughs> No, I do. It, I'm okay. So I googled it, and the first thing that comes up is a star video commentary of me using it. Of course, my man. Um, I love that guy. Um, why is it banned? Like, is it good? Um, it's, it's banned because there's a glitch that actually keeps it from, like, someone found. Oh yeah, where a you don't glitch. like. Yeah, it doesn't. You don't hurt yourself with the reload, right? I don't know yeah. how that works, but yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't. I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, you can script with it. You can do it without a script too. It's it's. It's just a normal reload glitch like other items in the game have, but it actually breaks that weapon. I mean, it, it's banned because of that, but I think it's still got some issues. Like, someone found good. it, yes. Frank West is calling it out. Frank and his friend are the ones that actually found it. So I'll credit him. Ah, the true nerds of TF2. Hey, Frank so, West lives in Houston, too. I met the guy. It's pretty cool. What? Yeah, Frank. Oh, no, not Frank. I'm thinking Frank, somebody else, from Blunderful. That, that Frank. Never oh, mind. yes. I'll, yeah, Frank. No. Jeez, um, <laughs> shut up, man! I'm not even I'm not even I'm not even paying attention right now because I'm like leaning over and going, oh, allergies. So my bad, Frank. It's the other Frank. I'm sorry, dude. You're you're a good Frank too. Um, I thought that was great. <laughs> Uh, love you, Sal. Um, but the you know the beggar's bazooka, I've I've seen and casted a match, and actually had to go like do a, a replay where the bazooka 
you know, the guy did like the, the bazooka jumping thing where you just keep reloading in and it was on Lakeside. He, What's he that? Was, Lakeside is at King of the Hill, right? Well, you don't know, you don't know the bazooka jumping? No. <laughs> okay. It's, it's so you, you load thing? like, yeah, you load the rockets in. Yeah. Right. But then after you load the fourth rocket, it can't hold anymore. So there's an explosion. An explosion propels you. And then you just keep loading more and more into the rocket without ever releasing. So you still got the three loaded, but it keeps oh. exploding. So you're going to hurt yourself. But if you have the gunboats, you don't hurt yourself that much. Right? So you, it's like infinite rocket jumping, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, and you don't need a wall either. Like it's boom. Yeah. And then you come down with three rockets. Does it shoot the it. rocket out? Right. Like, no, no. It doesn't shoot the rocket out. It just overloads. Like, like The default state yeah. of the weapon is unloaded. So you hold your mouse button, and it loads it. And if you oh. keep holding your mouse button, it keeps loading it. But you don't get more than three rockets. It just blows up in your face and you can jump with that. So people it's use weird. it to, to, yeah. to like pop in, in their own face and jump, and it's basically like rocket jumping, except you can actually hit things like, you know, you can be surrounded by nothing but air and it still explodes in your face, which is pretty okay. cool. So you're, you're jumping around with this, and then at, you know, right as you land on the med, basically, you can just unleash all three rockets. Yeah, and hey, yeah. you know what I would do? I'd use it with a Kritzkrieg. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hard to stop. I don't think it'd be easy to do that, but it, I mean, I Even want to for see, a good I pyro, see, it's hard to reflect like everything. It's yeah, I want to see you reflect all three. Most I ever got was two. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's, it's kind of random. It, it, I just, it, trolling DM with it, and I was like, I'd shoot like three rockets, and it would just be like, it'd be like one would like go off to the right or something. Well, yeah, you have to get really close to yeah. be effective. <laughs> people are. I, I I will fight you, stream chat people. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. They're, like, they're jumping down no, no, Bear's you throat. Don't know what this weapon that's not used in sixes does? Type <laughs> right about. Well, Let's go. Yeah, right? are you trying again, to say sixes is better, Sea Bear. If we're gonna pile on, Sea Bear hasn't seen any of the Meet the Team videos <laughs> either. So. What happened? I I I I. No, I, I I I'm sorry. I don't know a lot about the the, the things of the game, but I'm still really. Pretty bad, actually. Now, probably. <laughs> You're still really. Handsome. <laughs> I haven't played. That's all that matters. Oh, like they're right. Like I'm terrible, but I will fight all <laughs> you, all 200, 300 of you kids. Let's go. Yeah. Punch yeah, the beggars. I don't know. Like it just, it, it's a low risk weapon for the soldier. Soldiers can have a disposable class in Highlander, especially on Koth. And I mean, look at the maps, the matches that we cast. Like they were just really uninteresting because both teams were running the beggars and. So both teams were forced to just pretty much hide until both soldiers were dead every 20 seconds or so. Mm. And right. then they'd come out and start fighting for the point. Well, you and... almost have to do that with the snipers, too. So I guess it, it's just one more way of making people more and more, like, turtly. Like, don't come at me. Bit, uh, just depending on the map. Like, Arctic was, like, exemplified <laughs> it just by being really, really long. So you could start very far back with the beggars before, like, a sniper would even be in position to hit headshot someone. You could start... Yeah. way far back and jump so any kind of aggressive well, there, there play like spots and, I mean there's plenty of ways to hide from sniper yeah. lines in Arctic but and aggressive true. play kind of shuts down snipers too and it doesn't necessarily shut down the beggar's bazooka it's, it becomes much riskier when there's a beggar's bazooka soldier on the other team which is we on Arctic I mean the famous example was just sneaky polar bear going nuts on our team and just like getting top fragging for his team almost, getting in like 14 med picks and killing yeah. the demo a bunch of times too. And it, it was because we wanted to play aggressive and we wanted to get a forward hold working and we could not do it against the beggar's bazooka. We had to go back and hide. And once we did that, we started winning. But that's boring and uninteresting. And we basically had to sit yeah. way far back. And, I don't know. and do, you, do you really want to see someone go that big just with an item yeah. <laughs> rather than like making awesome plays, you know, getting 17 med picks by kind of doing this repetitive. I would make I, Highlanders. I don't, I don't find that very exciting. Yeah, my biggest gripe from watching the cast was that it's the games I saw. I saw like Croissant, which was, was cast like a one-one game. It was really like really slow, and yeah. I, I just like anything to speed the game up. And my fix would be make soldiers use the direct hit only. I mean, part of the reason like Croissant was the <laughs> map, Arctic was the map design. That was that was the deal this season. Was, and that was another thing if you. I wanted to answer the question of what would we change with Highlander yeah, yeah. right now. Not necessarily the meta, but I think we need to, like, just, you know, suck it up and start playing more standard maps each season, like, so teams can actually... Figure yeah. out how to play? Yeah, yeah, without having to completely change things. I mean, that 
it burnt like, me out like crazy this season, having to scrim and prep for just crazy custom maps every week. Right, just like I learning mean, Hunt like, is just such a, you know, you can't yeah. practice stuff like team chemistry and your... Yeah, you know, we did like eight scrims. Like ev for every and type was... of practice except for learning the map, you know. And the map That's change. a really good point. You it's see, you know, lame. you see like Gravel Pit, for instance, which has been around ESEA since probably season one. And yet, you would see different strats from, from teams every season. Like, you saw oh, yeah. laser beams running the Iron Man defense, which was, like, never done. And it was awesome to watch. They actually pulled it off. So it's certainly, I think, the argument that, that you would have stagnation if you didn't change the maps, it doesn't hold any water. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, they've been doing this same thing for nine seasons now so we have plenty of maps there have been plenty plenty of new maps each season we don't have to overload them all into one season kind of like they've done this time I mean, yeah. we can, well you have, you have yeah. some overlapping like we played upward and it seems yeah, like that's yeah. sort of like a favorite that was in the finals i want to say too um so what, what are the other maps that you would put like into a stable that are like just the best highlander maps because i mean i like, think i think steel and gravel pit should both be in both seasons cp steel the yeah. crazy map with the, the things happen and the doors. Steel is honestly one of the best Highlander maps. I think every class like gets something important to do. Like Scout maybe has the least to do, but you still like you, you run around cap and you kill things like a scout does. And I don't know, just the, the layout of the map is really interesting. There's a lot of strategy to it. It's the it's the gravel pit of uh, Highlander. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't know. It, I I just please don't play gravel pit in Highlander. That's my one request. Yeah, okay. I, it, it's, I, I still like it in Highlander. It's a little bit boring, especially for me. So like that just seems like you could really it would be really hard to get in on C. Well, I mean, you you probably just have to attack multiple entrances. Right, so that yeah. you know you don't. Everybody mm -hmm. doesn't die to the same crits creep. Okay, so <laughs> see, steel upward, bad water. You got to play bad water. That's like oh, yeah, bad water's good. Um, um, I like process a lot. I think it actually played really well in Highlander. Um, process, five yeah, CP big. maps tend to have choke oh. pony last, especially in Highlander. But it it was probably the least defensive of any five CP yeah. I've played. What about, what about Borneo? A... Borneo. That was, that was okay in the, the summer season. Like... It needs work. I don't know. Okay. It's it's really confined, and I think spies have a lot of trouble with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's all <laughs> <of> stuff. <laughs> I, about... I remember I had a really bad Borneo game. If I remember that season. Yeah. What about fast lane? Uh, I'd be up for Has trying ever... pro lane. I don't know if it's been played they in a while. They have to rework the last point, because what you just yeah. said, like, the last point is a joke. But yeah. fast lane seems like that mid fight would be pretty sweet for Highlander. Three easy routes to get there and a lot of running around it's big fast mm. i think there's been some talking maybe getting yukon uh back in at yeah. some point i like yukon yeah. yeah when was I last time that was played that was well, like a long time ago there are several like chokes that, yeah. yeah there's chokes between that last and second that kind of are yeah. ugly the issue with yukon yeah is the last point so far away from every entrance so yeah it's it's like granary last it's elevated so too. The defenders have high ground up so it's yeah. Droidster1337, the leap man, says CP orange. Uh, oh, orange. Awesome. <laughs> Bloodsire would never. Well, maybe a little two for it first. You know, we'll work our way <laughs> yeah. to orange. Yeah, we used to play a two for it. Like, oh. Really? I've been playing four? two for it pubs again, and I don't know why it's, it's incredibly enjoyable. It is, though, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. If you want, like, derpy yeah. pubbers, it's so much yeah. fun. Did <laughs> either of you guys play TFC? No, no, I could never get into it. Every time I tried, I tried to play it. that tried game, it, it was a couple years after it was already out, and people were just flying around the screen everywhere, conk jumping and stuff, and I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I guess, I remember I played so much of it. There were no maps when, when TF2 came out for the first, like, two years. And, I mean, this was before Badlands, and we would play. You remember back then, maps had the had the, the wait time? You know how, like, we play CP well and the gates don't open? Yeah, yeah. Raid mean, reviews would be like that. <laughs> what would, is, would it be, like, like, you guys are Highlander people, so it wouldn't really matter that much because you're always going to have the same nine classes, but I wonder what would happen if you played, like, a, a sixes meta with gates and granary. Like, what would you see? In Highlander would be kind of a clusterfuck. <laughs> it would, yeah, it would be everyone just seeing Yeah, it. I mean, both demos would just be spamming everyone to death immediately. I don't know. It would be pretty difficult. Everyone's days. Those are fun. Um, but yeah, yeah, two forward. So, um, other than, than getting a nice established map cycle phone, um, what, <laughs> what, what else would you, what else would you like? Is there any unlocks that, that drive you crazy, either of you, or no? 
you're just you're cool with the balance issue of the game and and how it's played. I'd like to see some unlocks on, on ban, you know, like uh, not that they should be. I just would like to see more weapons in Highlander, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see Valve nerf them so they can be included. You know, like the red tape recorder would be pretty cool. If that were nerfed. Oh yes, that thing. Seager knows all about that one. <laughs> Hold on. I think that for the beggars only had two rockets, it might be a little, like, you, more... You would still, like, one-shot a medic, though, right? If you aim... Um, it would be easier to protect from. That's well, the if, thing, is oh, that... Oh, because the pyro could air blast at least one. Yeah. 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 And that's usually the case, is I'm usually able to hit at least one, but they're slightly different angles and all of them, but they all hit right around the same area usually, so... Hitting one against two would be okay. But this, one against three, not really. Red tape recorder. Pretty cool item. <laughs> so you just walk up and it goes, okay, I won't say because everyone's seen it a million times. I, I, think it's, I think it's terrible too, but if they nerfed it, if they nerfed it, maybe we could get some. No, I think it would be funny. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm all for it. I, I love using it in pubs. It pisses people off. Like, like no other. That and Gunslinger on Hightower. Everybody hates you if you run Gunslinger <laughs> on Hightower. I love it. What about the... Um, you're a bad guy. So, what about the uh, the NG weapon that steals Uber? Is it an NG weapon? I think it's yeah, NG. Oh, oh yeah, so the, the Thompson. Uh, I yeah, I, I think that should stay banned. I think that's too. No, no, I don't think it, I, that that yeah. replaces the Wrangler as the most annoying yeah. weapon ever. Is that the is that the same thing that shoots projectiles down too? Or is that a different? No, that's, that's, that's the circuit. Short circuit. Yeah, short circuit. Short circuit's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. a lot less easy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah less people do use that. Yeah. And the yeah, the rescue ranger someone mentions in chat, like that's that's actually gotten a lot of use. I I know Abe um can use NG. Abe Lincoln has has used it quite a bit and really effectively too, and I think a lot of NGs are starting to use it. It's a pretty cool gun. It it's really good for, for just backing away, right? From uh from one hold where you're like, Okay, well the rest of the oh, team okay. died, so whoop, let's go so, yeah. to the next place. Yeah. That's exactly what it sounds like too. I should probably read up <laughs> on some of these things that have come out in the last three years. Just go play with them for like a night, you know. Grab the weapon and be like, hey, "And I want I'm to. gonna pub with this." I want to stream. I miss streaming. Like I miss playing this game. It's a fun time. Let's let's all pub sometime over I'll, my break. We'll do it. That's for you. I know you don't want anything to do with it, buddy. No, screw you, Steve. Bro. I hate you, man. I only do like you guys a show teach with you me once how a to play. <laughs> what is that <laughs> noise? Is someone vacuuming? Oh, one second, please. <laughs> it's not here. Just get to get. Get Czar to like bring you on his channel, Sea Bear. Just be like, hey, I want to be on your next uh, your next new item video for TFT. And he'll just be like, oh yeah, dude, sure, whatever. Are you, are you again? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a hundred thousand hits per video, bro? Get oh. out. Star's <laughs> uh. really cool though. He he actually does like even though his audience is not really focused on competitive, he likes to try and push it to them every so often and you know retweet competitive news and stuff like that. So you know. He's been like, on the show before. Right? I don't think we need to say anything more about him. He's cool. Yeah. Okay. So, Rescue Ranger, man, that thing's awesome. I'm yeah. just looking like, reading it out. I remember when it first came out, I thought that was going to be OP. But that's legal. You can use that shit. It's yeah. a fun time, man. Yeah. yeah, I've seen some really cool pieces of it. The problem is that you, if you have that and you have the Wrangler, you basically have no offensive capability. Like because yeah. it replaces your shotgun, and it does maybe 40 damage per hit if you hit somebody with it, and it's a really slow-moving projectile, so you're probably not going to hit anybody with it. Yeah. So, y you can't defend yourself. But if you're okay with that, then it's cool. Okay. So how do we speed the game up, um, boys? You two? Because is it the maps themselves? Is Highlander? Is there a way to speed the game up with with maybe um, changes or something? Or is it just? I, like, I don't know. I think more teams can figure out ways to yeah ways to be more aggressive. Um, something BPM does pretty well right now. Syndicate did last season really well. Was the Scout Uber, and. Not too many teams, honestly, really do that, uh, mm -hmm. and that that does get you in and get you kills more so than pretty much anything else. Ubering a demo man is nice to do damage, but you don't always get kills with it. So I don't know. Just people need to figure out better ways to push. I think, and the game will just naturally be sped up. Yeah, because it, it's it, like I said, the the what I've seen, like the watching the cast, it was probably just the the maps themselves weren't good, but it was just. It seemed like we were just kind of doing the same thing over and over again, and just like, ah, please win so we can make it move quicker. Well, one last question before we, I mean, maybe one, maybe two, but we're, we're starting to run out of time here before we do the giveaway. Um, what did you guys think of DJC's cast of Haunt? Did you see that? 
It was all spooky mode. Oh, I will. That's neat. <laughs> it's it was awesome. I, I, I co-cast that, so yeah, that was okay, a lot of that yeah. was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was. Oh man. That map deserved something special, so we did something special for it. <laughs> did that map have pumpkins that, that you could blow up? No, there weren't no. exploding pumpkins. There was just a lot of weird Halloween props all around that map. I don't. I don't stupid. understand why that was a competitive map. <laughs> That's stupid. One of my great pleasures in TF2 is to go into the Jump It server and then abuse my admin by flying around putting pumpkins on people while they're trying yes. to jump. Yep. And mm -hmm. I feel like that haunt map with like me and free spec just running around randomly pumpkining people would have made it way better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably. It's a good idea. Wait a minute. That that map. There's I think there's one perfect way to play it, and there's anything else doesn't work near as well. And that's that's sad. We should not have a map like that. Right. Okay, so are we are we good, Sal, or what? What do you want to? I'm I'm good. I just wanted to ask about Sal. Sal's gonna go so... to the hospital and get. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well that was fun. I I'm looking forward to. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to watch, but um, hopefully it'll be entertaining. Hopefully both of you guys go all the way and. Did you guys, would you guys meet in the finals, or would it be an earlier matchup? We'll um, meet on Gully Wash, I think. Gully Wash. Assuming, assuming like you win your first two matches, Stabby, and we win our first match. Yeah, we'll we'll hit each other on Gully Wash, which is like week three. Well, so yeah. It's gonna be sick. Watch for it. <laughs> okay, Sal. So, uh, you guys want to do shoutouts real fast? I know um, you both stream. You you stream. Stabby, of course, you stream. Um, plug your stuff and tell people where they can find more. Uh, yeah, you want to go first, you? Yeah, sure. Um, my streams, yeah, just Huey Lewis TF2. Just here, I'll type an arrow in chat. You can click my name, go there, like, subscribe, follow, all that. Well, for all the YouTube yeah. people, it's do that. Twitch TV, Huey Lewis TF2. Yeah. He'll play some Euro Truck Simulator for you. Here, yeah, I do place. like I do like to truck <laughs> and talk to my chat. It's oh, like when Lang does his quiet time with chat. I, I truck while I do that kind of Driving thing. Driving through <laughs> the... Germany talking yeah, to it. It my, makes my, no uh, sense. It's really weird. But yeah. My first um, experience of that game was a let's play where the guy's like driving around going, Show me your kids, honk honk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, shout outs to everyone on Ginyu, uh, BPM, MTS, and Syndicate. I'm looking forward to <laughs> good games. And yeah, man. <laughs> For a saw? Like, I'm gonna fuck. Uh... <laughs> Uh, your shout out, like, ah! it's, not, it's not my house. I can't tell them to stop. We're going to play a game. <laughs> shout outs to HVAC systems. Uh, and... Yeah, shout out to Vacuum and, and the Syndicate and BPM and MPS and Ginyu, our stream buddies. What All right. This, what is your stream? <laughs> your, your yeah, what's that? I can't even hear what's going on right now, so I guess that's going to be it. Hear you. All right, yeah. let's boy hats. If you don't know where Stabby's stream Oh yeah, Twitch, Twitch TV slash Stabby Stabby. Stabby Stabby, okay. guys. All right, we're going to be right back.